I have scraped and scaled the skin. I wash it in water, 20 degrees Celsius, with a few drops of natural soap or distilled chowder. I make the mixture for oil tanning with one deciliter rapeseed oil or olive oil, one egg yolk, and I save the egg white for later. And a teaspoon of soap. And I squeeze it out and can even let it hang and be a little drip dried. Then I, can, I put it in the oil solution and I work with it for 10 to 15 minutes in the solution. This mixture I made is enough for four to five salmon skins. I have worked the skin in the mixture 10 to 15 minutes and now I'm going to hang it outdoors if possible in the sun. UV rays enhance the process and but the sun can be too hot in the middle of the day. Feel the skins frequently. Hang them in the shade if they feel the slightest warm. If you can't have it outdoors, you can have it in a warm room. And now I'm going to hang it up. During the drying, the skins should be worked at regular intervals, rub between your hands. This allows air to penetrate the skin as to oxidize the fats and make it easier for them to bind to the fibers in the skin, thus tanning it. The more the skin is worked during the drying, the better the final results. When the skin is as soft as this one, I can wait a few days and let the skin mature. Three days have passed and it's time to wash the skin in soap water. I use one deciliter soap, 10 liters of water, 20 degrees Celsius. Wash it in until it's completely soft. In this solution, the tanning process continues and excess oils are washed out. When the skin feels really soft again, you can squeeze it out and hang them to dry or lay them flat on a board. They will dry more evenly if you lay them on the board. When the skin is so dry that it easily falls off from the board, then it is, it's time to start softening it. And while it's now drying, we are going to work with the bark tanning. 